Brokathia Howl, Brokathia Shai, Brokathia Howl, Brokathia Shai, Brokathia Howl, Brokathia Howl, Bashim Yashai, Bahashim, Rakako Dash, the Alana City Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, which you well. A salutations to the hopeful elect that the Yuakim Tazadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the Prisha Modern, this week's quick lesson is going to be entitled Yahweh Shai Conquered Satan with the Basics. Um, inspiration for the show comes from Matthew's the fourth chapter. Without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 49. 40 nights he was afterwards and hungered um when you fasting that's like um a spiritual exercise you know what i'm saying you know because you're departing the flesh of what it needs primarily which is food so you're not feeding your flesh you know you're strengthening your spirit you know but just like anything you know after you overdo it a while you know it becomes kind of counterproductive so pretty much if you exercise too much you know <laughs> you start to actually break yourself down. How was I went on a 40 days and 40 nights fast? The point I want to make is not only was the body weakened, but after a while, that, that takes a very strong toll on your spirit, man. Even though, you know, initially it strengthens the spirit, but after a while, even the spirit is like exhausted, man. So, you know, Yahusha was in a weak state. <clears throat> and when the tempter came into him, he said, If thou be the son of the Most High, command these, the, these stones to be made bread. And, um, look, man, Satan is not some cartoon villain, all right? He, um, uh, yeah, I don't, if you see an Apostle Elder Ricard's latest, read a sh uh, latest show about, um, responding to a commentary on the comment board, this is just the most size movie, man, all right? Sa look, Satan knew he was not going to, um, deceive the Lord, all right? Scripture says you can't deceive the elect. He knew he wasn't going to deceive the Lord, but guess what? The most I gave him the order for what? Because the things the four times are written for learning. So they're pretty much playing out a scenario for our learning. That here it is, you have the greatest, well, um, the greatest spirit, all right, under Yahweh, all right, and he's going to battle against the chief of the left hand demons, and they're going to settle this dispute, dispute with the basic fundamental of the scriptures. He's just going to stay in Deuteronomy. Um, what he answered and said, It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the out of the mouth of the Most High. So, what he was quoting right there was, uh, Salakia, what the Lord was quoting right there was Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3, you know? In other words, the Lord, you know, just keep it simple. When Satan comes to your mind, you know, you got, you know, a lot of, uh, Apostle Ramah was speaking about a lot of pride going around the camp and, you know, people getting high-minded and, you know, scriptures say that though, knowledge profit up, man. You know, you get all this super simple, uh, super great knowledge from being with the apostles and elders and you're growing on your own, so to speak, that, you know, you start to get puffed up, you know, and then you forget about the basic stuff, such as, you know, the greater that are, the more humble thyself. You know, the situation out there in Florida with the lion's den, you know, the brother put the most simple scripture, some rebuke is not calmly. And he knows the scripture, he knows that scripture, but did he apply it? No, you know? That's why King David, um, King Marshall said through the spirit, you know, you could, you know, the, the guy that knows a million and one scripture, that's cool. But the guy that knows that one scripture and applies it, that's a bad dude, man. All right? You know, it's, applying the scriptures is really key, man. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Knowledge is to know the law, statutes, and commandments. Oh... Uh, Wisdom is to apply them. And of course, understanding is to know why you're applying them. It says, Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. This is pretty fucking high, man. I think scholars say this is about, well, like 40 stories up. Enough to kill you. Enough to kill you, man. And saith unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. So, Satan knows scriptures, man. All right? Satan could stay you in the wrong direction using scriptures to proceed, you know, make you think that you're right. But all you got to do is just combat the basics, man. I'm going to give uh, one more quick example. There was a guy in the camp. He was a confusion of face out there in, um, out there in this, uh, UK. 
And um, Satan told him, look, man, you're not an Israelite, you're an Edomite. And you know what this guy did? Instead of just using the basic scripture, Psalms 147, he showed this word unto Jacob. He went into some deep, you know, genealogical search and this, that, and history, and <laughs> just eventually fell out. But if you just kept it basic, if you'd have answered Satan with that basic scripture, look, man, he showed his words unto Jacob, you'd have been good. You know, demons plague our minds constantly, man. And really, you don't have to go super deep and com um, combating him. You don't have to do any, any crazy enchantments and none of this shit. All you got to do is just go to the basic scripture, man. You know, de uh, demons come, try to sow division amongst the camp, amongst the brothers, and have you think this, that, and the third about the brother. But look, man, love the brother as thyself. Just apply it. You know, just love the brother as yourself. You know? Um. Also, too, uh, this is a basic uh, commandment. Honor thy mother and thy father. Right? Um, going back to that situation over there, um, over there with the lions, then got that, you know, he, you know, he got it, the, you know, the brother got emotional about um, the reproof that the elder uh, Ariala gave him. Now, the scripture says, honor thy father and thy mother, right? You know, if your, your father's in the crib, you're going to listen to him. But he said, look, man, I'm stepping out for a while. Listen to your big brother while I come back. If you dishonor your big brother, did you, did you, who did you dishonor? Really, you dishonored your father. Because... Your father gave you an order to listen to whatever your big brother told you. But you didn't want to listen to him because, you know, you see him as your equal. You see him as just a relative. You don't see him as your father. But wait a minute. The father gave him. He's there as a representation. He's there as an extension of the father. So in honoring his supervision, you just honored your father, man. So these are just basic scriptures. Just apply them. When those uh, demons pop in your mind. Um... Um, verse 6, it says, And saith unto him, Thou be the Son of Man, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and then in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. I believe he's going on the Psalms. Yahweh shall answer them. It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. It's so simple. It's so simple. Most people, you know, when Satan comes at your mind, you get too complex. You overthink. You start doing complex equations in your mind when really it's just one plus one equal two you know go to the basic fundamentals of the scriptures man you know and these things will help you battle these demons these things will help you um make wise decisions the law statutes and commandments man lean upon those and not your understanding that's book of uh Sirach chapter 3 verse 24 and I, I can't stress it enough man satan knows what this is about all right, he knew that he would look, man. He knew that he wasn't going to see the Lord, but the Most High sent them look like a like a movie, action and rolling. This is pretty much action and rolling, and he's just saying beat for beat what the Most High wanted him to say. That what, that we may read this and understand this for our learning, man. That when no matter what level of demon will come at you, the basic understandings of the scriptures can't forget these basics, man. We'll we'll combat any demon. The basics words, man. Of the Lord. Now I shall I said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. And the devil taketh him up into the exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and all the glory of them. And uh, Satan knew what the Lord was going to say. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then say ye, How shall I unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. So, Deuteronomy 8, chapter 3, Deuteronomy 6 and 16, Deuteronomy 6 and 13. He just he just kept it simple. Just kept it the, the Look, man. <laughs> you know, um, I was just recently watching these brothers' live streams on GMS Born Again. Apostle Elder, um, the Apostle, uh, um, it's like the Elder uh, Manatazak. You know, and um, Captain Karab, you know, the elder brother Shamar, the elder brother Yahweh, these brothers. And uh, Captain Karab made a statement, man. He was like, look, man, you got these people that do these complex things to try to find a meaning in life. That, you know, people might go out there on the mountains and try to find themselves for 30 days and go on a fast. X amount of, go on a, wow, man, <laughs> the meaning of life is extremely simple. Serve the Most High, keep His commandments. The Heavenly Father... The Heavenly Father didn't have it be complex. He just had to be simple. Simple that anybody could follow it. King Solomon, if he wanted to, he had over 30,000, he had over 3,000 Proverbs 
And when you go into the Josephus, he knew thousands of riddles, man. Riddles that would confound the people's minds. In fact, uh, he said uh, Hiram used to send riddles to Solomon. And Solomon will solve them. <laughs> uh, um, was that the Queen of Sheba? Stowing all these different proverbs and riddles at Solomon. And he was getting it like, you know, with the wisdom. So you think he would put the meaning of life in some deep parable, some deep... No, he didn't do that. He had all the wisdom. He had all the words. He knew everything. He could have he could have made it sound complex. He could have did this, that, and third. But he kept it simple, man. Serve the Most High and keep his commandments. So I know it's been about 12 years now, uh, 2007 to 2019. And, you know, brothers are growing in the spirit. And, you know, brothers are getting the information. But, you know, look, man. <laughs> No reason to be high-minded, man. Just keep your, you know. And I, I, I'm not just saying, when I say you, I'm, of course, definitely talking about myself, of course, too, man. You know, because we all make mistakes, man. And that's another, that's another thing, too, man. Brothers, it's like, sometimes they feel afraid to make a mistake. You're going to make mistakes, man. You're going to make certain, certain times improper judgment. But why did the Lord put you through that improper judgment? That you may learn from it, man. You know? That you may learn from it. You know, right now, okay, I'm going to go with the spirit, man. The spirit had me bring up another situation with lions. Then is, uh, you know, have you considered that this could, you know, this could be a situation just to teach you order, you know, to teach brothers humility. The most is ultimately controlling all of us. So when we fuck up, we have to step back and look at, all right, the most are programming to do this error, this mistake. What can I take away from it? How can I, you know, make myself better from learning from it? And this is what is called experience, man. Hey, so in closing, man, whenever the Lord, um, hey, well, it was the Lord. Whenever the Lord sends Satan at you, plague your mind or put you in particular situations where you might fall or go off or demons jump on you and you make improper judgment. Just revert back to the most basic, basic subscription, man. You know, put no, put no, um, put no God before the most high, which when you, put, when you have pride, that's what you do. You put in, you know. You saying you did something, and you know, right there, you just put yourself before the Most High. And love the brother as thyself, man. Treat every brother like your Havashai, man. All right? Pretty sure if your Havashai was, you know, hitting you up, trying to know how you were, you listen, man, you know? I already gave the example of honor thy father and thy, honor thy father and thy mother, man. If your father leave your big brother over you, you honor your father by listening to what your big brother say, man. Order. Hey, man, with that... I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakaq Kudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone with true well, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You Akim, Tuzza Dakim, to do his thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. A hey, part of the background noise, brothers, I'm at work. Salakia. All right, Shalom.